Hello friends and foes alike. My name is B Plague and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Today I thought I'd show you how to make the following growl I came up with for an upcoming ID in Zero. Let's have a listen to this batch right here. <laughs> Well, if we solo it, it sounds like that. Well, that's it already. Looking at the patch itself, it's just some Ben shenanigans with frequency modulation. And let's jump right into the creation. Initialize your patch and have a go. Turn on sub, noise, oscillator B and turn down level of sub, noise and oscillator A all the way down. Now for oscillator A, change from default to spectral monster one and turn the wavetable position to 200. The phase down to 95 randomization to 58 and turn on bend plus minus turn it to minus 38 as well that's oscillator a done on oscillator bay leave it to the default wavetable turn the level down to minus 22 db and turn on fm from a leave it at zero with this done we are going down to the voicing turn on legato Portamento and turn the time up 18 milliseconds so we have a nice glidey bendy feeling now we have to modulate this so the sound will get some substance with LFO1 draw a shape roughly like this turn on envelope mode and turn it down to one bar triplets let's modulate the level of oscillator A 41 or 40 it's not that bad the wavetable position down 50 on oscillator b we turn on fm from a 55 and level all the way up now we can listen to it and it will have a little bit of substance already <laughs> That's it. If you hear clipping on my part, that's that little wobbly bobbly down there. It's part of the track. Now on to LFO2, draw a similar shape like we had before with a little peak plateau at the end. I like to think it adds to the modulation. Draw it like this so it has a wompy kind of form. Turn on envelope triplets and turn it down to one half triplets. Now we're gonna modulate the level of the noise oscillator to around 10. This is gonna come in later when we enable distortion. The sub oscillator to around 50. And the band plus minus to around 40 as well. There we go. Now if we listen to it again, a little bit more substance will be added, as well as a little womp at the beginning because of the faster LFO. And the band plus minus will let it resonate even more because it changes form at the end. Now turn on the filter and change it to high notch 12. Route all of your oscillators through it and turn the cutoff to 118 Hz, the resonance to 30 Hz and the frequency for the notch to 82%. We're gonna modulate this with LFO2 as well. For the cutoff we have 32 both ways. For that we're gonna go to the matrix, look for our filter cutoff, push this button and we have it both ways. For the frequency of the notch, same thing, minus 38 down, but leave it one-sided. Now it's a little bit more controlled, tight, and let's have a listen again. But because...
because we have the filter settings like this, a lot of frequencies are lost in translation. So we have to use some effects. Enable hyper dimension and turn the mix of the hype all the way down for the dimension, the size down to one or two percent, something like that, rather small, and the mix up 20 to 22 percent. Turn on distortion, leave it at tube, and drive it up to 84, 85, something between 80 and 90. With that enabled, it should sound a little bit more aggressive and fuller again. Well, that's not all of it. I like to put the phaser on this growl because it adds some nice frequencies to it. Let's put the depth down to 30, the feedback to 20, and let's phase it at 44 degrees. The frequency is the more important part for your song or for your patch, you might have to change it. Here, I'm gonna put it to 76 Hertz. <laughs> It adds some missing frequencies and resonances to the whole batch altogether. Lastly, enable the compressor and turn it in over the top mode. Release at 370 and the threshold to minus 9 dB. And we are already done with this batch. Let's have a listen to the final product. <laughs> Well, that's it from my side. Don't forget to always keep experimenting with the settings as you might find something that sounds better or fits better for you. I hope this was helpful for some of you folks out there. If so, let me know down below. If not, roast me down below. And more serum tutorials are surely coming as well as some from my favorite new synth, Vital. Have a good day. Be plagued out. Thank <laughs> you.